We see within the Tory party, a party that is a friend of the bankers, friend of the, the you know, the money men. Uh, and we've seen in the past where Teddy betrayed the fishermen, sold them out to the European Union. That will happen again. Theresa May will do exactly the same again, but what evidence do I have? I've got a letter here that is from, or was written by, to the, to the, the, uh, the Prime Minister, uh, a fisheries uh, association down <laughs> south. I've got that letter there. This guy is asking, as the chairman of this association, he's asking for the 200 mile limit. He's asking for support from the Tory party for the fishing industry. He's asking to repeal the 64 Act. He's asking to be able to fish in the 6 to 12 mile. I've also got the answer from her office, which is basically waffle, which means to me she's not going to do that. I wrote to George Eustace weeks ago asking the very same questions. I've got a, a, re a reply this week from George Eustace, who says, because Parliament is no longer sitting, he cannot answer the questions. He's had this letter weeks, <laughs> weeks. He could have replied the very next day if he was committed to the fishermen of this country. This is the evidence that tells me that they are going to betray the British fishermen once again. And as I say, I'm a man who sat who stood here, who actually lived through that betrayal, who saw his community devastated because of that betrayal, and that's what's going to happen again. So I'm saying to every community out there, all the fish towns around the country, if you want a Brexit, if you want to be out of the European Union, if you want your industry back, there's only one party you can vote for, the only one party that's actually fighting for the fishermen, and that's UKIP. Yeah.